Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. I thought that I would quickly discuss some research that could benefit you in your journeys to health, fitness, and physique greatness. Uh, it may be of no shock uh, to any of you out there that poor sleep can lead to lower levels of testosterone. As research demonstrates that total testosterone levels are highest in men who sleep at least seven to eight hours per night and lowest in those who sleep less than five. But what you may not know is that by sleeping more, you can actually increase your testosterone. A 2010 study on 531 men aged between 29 and 72 years old found that men who slept for less than four hours for just one night had approximately 60% less total testosterone and 55% less free testosterone than men who slept for longer than eight hours. Based on these same findings, it also appears that including one hour of extra sleep per night may raise testosterone by 12 to 15%. According to the endocrinologist who conducted the study, the significant association of sleep with androgen concentration suggests that sleep might be a contributing factor in the etiology of men with low concentrations of androgen. Therefore, in the management of men with low androgen concentration, an evaluation of their sleep hygiene might add to the understanding of the etiology of their hypogonadal state. Ergo, poor sleep may very well be one contributing factor to the low testosterone trend that we are witnessing among men today. Testosterone has been on a 1% decrease per year approximately and on average since the 1980s. As I've discussed in videos previously, men in 2017 have around 30% less testosterone on average than their counterparts in 1987. It's a serious and worsening problem and sleep is something that is so simple to fix in the scheme of things. Uh, not that poor sleep is the only culprit, as there are other, even interrelated factors to consider. Such as popular degenerate lifestyle habits that are detrimental to both sleep quality and duration, as well as having their own documented direct negative impact on testosterone levels, as well as other hormones. But I can and will be getting to those at another time. This episode is focused purely on sleep. For now, I would just like you all to consider your individual sleep patterns and what you can do not only to improve your existing quality of sleep, but also the duration. Such a small change in your life can have such a significant positive impact on its quality. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, please also like and share this video as I feel this is a very important topic to bring awareness to. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button to keep on top of my weekly updates. With that, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.